Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 91. So today's episode, guys, I'm going to show you how to uh, get your SCCM 2007 to SCCM 2012. Um, it's not really an upgrade. It's actually a migration process. So that means you have to get another server, get another uh, physical machine, and rebuild it with Windows Server 2008, get all the policies that you need to do on it. I actually have an episode that deals with all that information, so check that out. Uh, have your SCCM 2012 server up and running, and then have SCCM 2007 and 2012 side by side to migrate your information over. Um, Microsoft made it a little harder with this application, so we have to actually just deal with it. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys the process that I did in migrate my my 2007 stuff to 2012. So, so what you will be, so what's going to be migrated? So everything except your data source content, uh, your OSD, your boot images because of the new wake in the SEC in 2012, sub collections, which I'm going to talk about. Uh, later on, if not, uh, you guys can shoot me an email and or leave comments below if you're interested and let me know if you guys want me to do a video on that. Or shoot me an email, I'll just give you the answer. Uh, some things you need to know. Uh, this is stuff I actually got from Microsoft TechNet, so you can actually uh, pause the video, read it. Uh, but some things is like uh, classic packages and programs get migrated as is, so there's no conversions to the application. Um, it keeps the site codes unique. It doesn't use the SMM, SMS site code equals auto feature. And uh, 2007 hardware inventory can be imported into SCCM 2012 on a client setting level. So the first thing I did is I opened up my 2012 configuration manager console. I clicked on administration and within administration you want to go integration so with integration you get three options now I made a move right here on this image so you actually want to go into the source click on source and at the very top you want to create a new source uh, you want to specify a new source so this is what you're gonna get uh, so the first that you know, the first text box you're gonna enter your SCCM 2007 uh, DNS server name for mine was bj bj scm dot bj tech dot local. Uh, I specified a user account that has access to 2007, which is SCCM admin is the actual account that I'm logged into my SCCM 2007. So I shouldn't have any problems. And this by default I left it as is. Uh, when you click OK, you get this little dialog box. It normally takes a while, depending on how, many, how much information, how many objects or source that you need to import to 2012. For me, it wasn't. It was pretty fast. I only have um, see in the bottom of my hand. I only have 57. And if you right-click on the job, you go to properties. Um, you can actually set the intervals of. Um, of a time frame of when you want the job to run to go and continue getting information on your 2007 server. Uh, by default is four hours. You, I think you can actually set it for one hour, four hours, six hours, eight hours. I'm not too sure. I'm only, I know it was one hour, four hours. I changed mine to one hour because I was trying to speed up the process. And you can just get data now and it retrieves it. It retrieves it. Um, again, you can also right click on the job and gather data now. Now the next thing that you want to do once you do that source job, you want to go to migration jobs and then you want to create the migration job. Now you give it a name, give it a description and the job type, uh, you have three, drop, three job types. You got collection migration, object migration, objects modified after migration. So I give it as a BJ Tech News migration, uh, description is optional. And the job type that I picked was object migrations, rather than collection migration. Okay, so I pick object migration just for me. And once you do the migration, uh, object migration gives you a list of what you can be migrated. Like boundaries, I have zero one, so I wanted that to be checked off. And software distribution packages, it has zero two. So I checked these two guys off. And my boundaries is basically the boundary that I created on my SCCM 2007. 
and my software distribution packages, if you guys have been with me throughout my SEC in 2007 series, uh, and you follow me, you basically know that I did create a Firefox and a Notepad++ plus plus plus, uh, packages. So that's going to actually get migrated over to 2012 server. Uh, content ownership, you can leave it as default. Uh, built in, I just give it a check mark and it gives you a nice little review of the migration job. You hit next. I wanted to run the migration job now. It's up to you. If you're doing this during working hours, I don't recommend it depending on how much, how much information you're pulling off your 2007 to your 2012. So after working hours would be great. You can just schedule it. Hit next. Give you a nice little confirmation of the settings. Hit next and green check mark. Good to go. Now. If you go back to your migration job, as you can see, I highlighted it, it's completed. It didn't take as much because I started 415 and it ran 415, so it was pretty quick. But if you see in the bottom right here, uh, migration is completed, which is cool. Objects migrated was three objects. So it was the objects of my, um, I believe. Yeah, it was my boundaries and as well as my two packages for my uh, my two packages from within my 2007. So those are the three things that were pushed down. And um, I went into soft software library, went to application manager management and packages. And as you can see, I got my Firefox and my Notepad++ uh, my Notepad plus plus already inside. Um, um, my sorry guys brain freeze uh, I, I got them imported successfully with no problem within my SCCM 2012 I don't know if you noticed but right here the package ID is actually BTN it's not BJ is not BJT BJT is actually the site code for my SCCM 2012 as you can see up here so BTN is actually my 2007 uh, site code so that's pretty interesting and that's about it guys hopefully you guys enjoy this video if you guys have any questions or if you have tried the other types of migrations hey leave me a comment shoot me a comment let me know you know I, I, I only have about 144 more days left until um, my SCCM 2012 trial expires so I would like to get some feedback from you guys and you know I would like to know what's your migration progress uh, process actually sorry guys uh, if you like the video, give me some thumbs up. If not, give me thumbs down. Hey, it's just it makes me a stronger person if you give me thumbs up and I can just basically get that as good feedback. Uh, as well, leave comments below. And at the very top there, there's a subscribe button. Uh, just hit that subscribe button if you guys want to stay uh, with me and follow me and get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on software and hardware. And I catch you guys later. Thank you.